Well, last night got crazy. Easy. I had one too many <laughs> free, proudly serving Starbucks <laughs> with my diamond vouchers. No, but last night was crazy. It was really cool. I'm I think we enjoyed it way more than we thought we would. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This promenade was popping. It was really cool. But we slept past breakfast. <laughs> but um, the main dining room is doing brunch until 12.30. Yeah. So we're going to go do that. It sounds really cool. Yeah. Whoa. In the promenade, there's like little parade floats. I forgot that there's a parade tonight. There's a parade tonight. We should see that tonight. We absolutely have to. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the dining room now. So is this a, it says happy holidays. Is this a New Year's Day brunch? I don't even know. I don't know, but it said something about enjoying cookies at the end of it. So <laughs> we might have to do that. Okay, we got a table right by the staircase. This place is crazy. I can't believe how packed it is. It is packed in here for this brunch. So I guess it is a New Year's Day special brunch. I'm not really sure if this menu is different. We never really come here for breakfast, so we don't really know. I can't tell if it's different or if it's... I mean, but, but from looking at the menu, it looks like it's special. Yeah. So... But I like our seat a lot. Like, we're, we've got the chandelier, we've got the staircase. I think that everybody stayed up really late last night, and so they woke up late. And there's, this is the only breakfast thing right now. There's no breakfast going on except for this, and so everybody wants breakfast. Yeah. And this is the place to be. Yeah. Yeah. We even walked past Ca Cafe Promenade, and it was pretty packed there too. So I think like people want food. Yeah. Windjammer. It's 11:30 right now. Yeah. So Windjammer just opened for lunch. Yeah. So people people need their breakfast. Okay, we got our food. Now, the last time that I had an Eggs Benedict was on the Disney Cruise yeah. Line. And it was amazing. And it was amazing. And that was also the first time that I had Eggs Benedict. And so I feel like that might have you know, tainted me for regular Eggs Benedict, but we're trying it out now. Yeah. And Brian is too. I got the same exact thing. Have you had it before? I honestly don't know. All right. <laughs> Here's the thing. I needed to have this meal today to know if the Disney Cruise Line Eggs Benedict deserved to be in our Hall of Fame. And having this now, I know that it does deserve to be there. Yeah. And it's from Paolo, just to clarify so this was amazing literally the eggs benedict amazing in the dining room on royal I, this, this is my first time i've had it and this was amazing so i cannot imagine what you had at paolo on disney because i really was thinking like wow this is so much lower level than paolo i should have had what i should did have i tried. let you try no it? you didn't wow didn't i'm so mean it. but this was amazing so yeah I, I can't even, I literally can't even imagine what you had. We're yeah. big Eggs Benedict fans now. I guess so. Why are there like old men staring at the piano? I don't know. It's scaring me. Why did they paint that and not like a tropical paradise? Okay, so Carrie was just making fun of that mural in the dining room. And I was like, okay, I gotta look up what this is because one of them looks like, like Newton, right? Yeah, I said Aristotle. Isaac Newton. Um, Big Newton. I, I, I googled, I learned something. This is crazy. So it's Galileo. Galileo. It's Galileo. 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 You should listen to the, the Queen song. Uh, okay, can I somehow edit this to make me sound smarter? Put the, the word <laughs> from the, the song. Queen song. Gali Ga Galileo. Galileo. Okay. It's Galileo, Isaac, and Leonardo. DiCaprio? <laughs> <laughs> and why that's there, or maybe, I don't know which came first. Um, each level of the dining room is named something. So deck five is Galileo. Deck four is Isaac. Deck three, Leonardo. 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 Wow. So they've named each um, level of the dining room, and that's why that's there. But I feel like I've never seen that, like it's not on the app. like. Go to the Leonardo level. No. Or is it? We should see if there's a sign out there or something. That would be interesting. That would come full circle. Yeah. I but can't believe you looked that up. We're going to go do um, Disney trivia now. So we should be pretty good at that. Um, it's in the Schooner Bar. That's where we had the office trivia we always, yesterday. We always lose at Disney trivia on a Disney cruise line. I know. But I think maybe we have a chance. Yeah. So we're going to go do that. Okay. Look at this. 
Leonardo's. This this is hard to read on camera, but just read the braille. There's also yeah. the Mona Lisa over there. It's in the Da Vinci's Code. Leonardo Da Vinci. It's not DiCaprio, dear. Oh, oh, Leonardo Da Vinci. <laughs> we're we're finding secrets about freedom of the seas here. Leonardo da Vinci was a Renaissance painter, architect, engineer, mathematician, and philosopher. Wow, I, in an era when left-handedness was considered the devil's work, Leonardo was unashamed, and he was a left-handed writer. My dad would be so proud. He's a lefty. This is really cool that we just discovered the, this theming. Yeah, I, I kind of feel sad that we didn't discover the theming or know the theming before that. Yeah. So here's the Mona Lisa, which was painted by da Vinci, or no. Yes, right? Yeah, why do you keep struggling with it? I don't know. <laughs> we need to watch the Da Vinci's Code when we get home. Yeah. We came up one deck. It's hard to read this one. Isaacs. Isaacs. So yeah. Isaac Newton, so this is main dining room, deck four. Wait, Sir so Isaac, Isaac Newton. Newton. Mathematician and physicist. Wow. This is cool. Okay, we gotta go to our trivia in the Schooner Bar now. Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna be our Disney champion, all right? Those of you from Orlando, you better not disappoint. Everyone knows that Cinderella lost the glass slipper as she left the ball at midnight, but did it fall off the left foot or the right foot? What do you think? Again, question number one. Everybody knows that Cinderella lost the glass slipper as she what is the name That's of the Italian saying. restaurant where Lady and the Tramp shared spaghetti? No, it is not Sorrento's Pizza upstairs. <laughs> Horrible restaurant at Disney, mm -hmm. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go there. We got one point higher than we did on the office yeah. trivia. And considering the amount of time we spend at Disney compared to the amount of time we spend watching The Office, it's a little bit sad. However, these were all like Disney movie yeah. questions. I think we're more knowledgeable about Disney parks yeah. stuff. So But we did pretty good. There was a lot of like Pixar. Pixar isn't Disney, okay? Well, it kind of is. I know, but I want to feel better about myself, so I think we did good. We did well, yeah. So we are docked in Nassau today. It feels really nice out, at least in the shade. It's 81 degrees on January 1st. We were gonna do a little excursion today, but it was sold out. Uh, we waited until the last minute to try to book it and it ended up being sold out, but that's okay. Cause I think we'll do it next time maybe. We weren't sure if we wanted to do it. Yeah, we also weren't sure if we wanted to. And I actually think it's better that we didn't because we wanted to sleep in. Yeah, I think today is gonna be a lot of uh, relaxing on our balcony. Yes. Lots of people are staying on board at Nassau today. You know, there is like one chair in the water open. Actually, over there, there's I'm, two of them, so it's not that bad. I'm actually surprised it's this busy today. I'm surprised it isn't busier today. We've been to Nassau so often on our cruises that I don't even feel bad about staying on the ship. No. It, it, literally, it's like every cruise we go to, we stop in Nassau. Yeah. So we're parked right next to the Celebrity Reflection. And look, they have a big 2023, kind of hard to see, but it's like in gold big letters on their cruise ship. It looks nice. Looks nicer than the, the ship that we were on, the Summit. Yeah, and then behind it, the MSC ship looks gigantic. Yeah, it does. I'm not sure which MSC ship that is. No. We got some New Year's Day football playing on the TV in the pool deck, which is pretty cool. Miami versus New England. So I'm sure a bunch of Miami fans are interested in that game. And I'm sure we have a bunch of people from Miami on this cruise because this cruise left from Miami. On the pool deck here, they have these new signs. We've never seen these before. Hold that thought. No reserving deck chairs. Unattended items will be held at the towel stand. So, I really appreciate yeah. this. This has always been the rule. It's just never really seemed enforced. I think they, by doing it on every other chair, it really makes those like towel hogs rethink I think their decision. Right. I think, yeah. I think it makes people remember the rule. Yeah, I appreciate this a lot. Yeah, I think that's really a good idea. Well, I guess since we're next to El Oco Fresh, we might as well get some tacos. Yeah, I think just because we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I got some chicken quesadillas. We brought it up to the top deck here. Founded lounge chair. One of my favorite things about a cruise is just having a snack on the top deck and just sitting here and looking out, feeling the breeze. Love it. Feels good. There's a huge yacht out there. Oh my God, wait, is the helicopter yeah. spinning? Yeah. 
The helicopter is either about to take off or just landed. I want to see it take off. Yeah, it's really cool. I think it's a yacht. It must be. It's my yacht. Do you think he just landed or he's about to take off? Oh my god, it's taking off, oh it's taking god. off, it's taking off. Oh my god. That's so oh cool. my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where is he going? Imagine if he like just crashes into the yacht right now. It almost looks like he was gonna crash into his own yacht. Yeah. That's so cool. He's probably going to Atlantis. No, he's probably not. I don't know where he's Where do you fly to? That's so cool though. Okay, um What? We have a morning gus. Morning gus. This is crazy. Oh, and he says Happy New Year. Look at him. What is that? It's a bear. Oh, with no spine. A spineless bear. No, he's just, he's, he's sitting. <sighs> That's crazy. We never get a morning gust. Don't worry about the blanket. We brought that from home. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. I, I gave that to Carrie for her birthday, I, I think. Is that, that what it was? I, I, yeah. Oh, because she loves, she Ooh, loves yeah. Doritos. Oh, here's a joke. What did... What did one Doritos farmer say to the other Doritos farmer? Cool Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Cool Ranch ones are better than the nacho ones, people. Now I think we're gonna enjoy our balcony and just sit on our balcony. It's nice and, and shady here right now. This morning it was sunny and I like couldn't handle it out here, but this looks nice. Yeah, this is gonna be really nice. We and, get to uh, stare at the Harmony. We get to stare at the Harmony, which is a great ship. I've been on that ship before. I haven't. Um, Carrie hasn't. Uh, my parents renewed their vows on that ship. So we're gonna probably lay here and take a nap here. It's like there are giant snails attacking the harmony of the seas and nobody even seems to care. It's a total infestation. They're crawling up the walls, they're attacking the passengers, and nobody's doing anything about it. Well, this is where we've been for the entire afternoon. <laughs> and we've done an outfit change now. But now we're pulling away from Nassau. We're waving goodbye to Harmony of the Seas. You can't see it, but we're moving very, very slowly. We just started to pull away, like right now. Yeah, you can feel the the engines rumble. And if you like look at, if you like stare at like one point, you can see us move. I don't even really see it, so if you don't, that's okay. Looks like Harmony is gonna leave at the same time as us. I figured we kind of had to, to pull out first before Harmony because- Well, we are. Like we're kind of blocking them. I mean, yeah, we are, but then it looks like because the thrusters are on Harmony right now, she's gonna leave right after us. There's like, there's no way a ship like Harmony could pull beside us and get out. I mean, I don't know, probably not. No way. Oh, by the way, the celebrity ship pulled away. So that's the MSC Seascape next to us. Looks that's like a- Big. Yeah, it looks like a big ship, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna head down to the promenade now because they have a parade going on in 15 minutes. I'm so excited to see this. So, so this parade is called Anchors Away, which makes sense because we're leaving port right now. Yeah, you're right. But we didn't use an anchor for this port, obviously, <laughs> but still. But still. And we got our spot for the parade right next to some cows. We thought that there would be a good aroma <laughs> over here to help enhance the parade. But yeah, they put up some rope here and also, Balloons from last night. Some leftover balloons from last night. I kind of want to go up there and get one. Yeah, just jump. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, that was really something. It was something else. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> It was uh, it was really cheesy. They changed the song Come Sail Away to Anchors Away, which I thought was yeah. cool. So they changed the song just for this parade, which is pretty crazy. It was. You could tell that not all the performers were from performing venues. They said um, it also had like the staff from um, Adventure Ocean. Adventure Ocean and the sports team and stuff like I that. I think they even said like the activities team. It was funny, it was like, like obviously some of the performers were like the ice skaters and the actual production show team yeah. and like they were like really good and really good at the dancing and then like then you had like the sports guys and it's like you could tell you know <laughs> carrie was saying it was so bad that it was good it was so good because you could tell there were these one people who were like mouthing the counts of the dance they'd be like one two three four <laughs> five six seven eight and i 
I loved that and then like on one of the parade floats you could tell that they used like a pool noodle for it oh, and like yeah. some of the guys were slapping it like what are you doing touching my cannon or something like that it was like yeah. they were trying. it was supposed to be like wood it was like painted to be like wood but it was like obviously like fake they were having such a good time because of like they were laughing at themselves during it and then like it just like that kind of funniness like rubbed off on the viewer I, I think it's cool that they offered this because we haven't seen this on all of our cruises, um, you know, post shutdown. We've never seen this offered. This is the first time we've seen it. I know that they used to do this a long time ago. Yeah, Brian has some home movies yeah. that I think I've seen of parades. It's the only way I've known that they exist. I have some home videos uh, that are like 15, 20 years old and it, it has like the parade, but... Um, we were in like the worst possible spot because this thing like raised down or lowered down from yeah, the ceiling. Yeah, there was like a stage bridge that like lowered down, but it, it was right on I mean, top of us. It doesn't, that doesn't... That was the... It looked like it was going to crush us for a second. I thought it was and they were just going to let it happen. I think it's really cool that this is back though, that cruising is getting more and more back to normal, you know. Yeah. So that's cool. It was cool. I'm I got a high five from one of the performers. I'm glad they do it, you know, it's cool. It was fun. I'm so excited for what's coming next. Okay, now we're gonna go to dinner and we're going to Giovanni's Kitchen, which there's three items in the Hall of Fame that are from Giovanni's Kitchen. So this is gonna be a crazy meal. Item one, garlic knots. Item two, pizza. Item three, surprise. They have the Caesar salad with the fresh croutons. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Giovanni's Italian kitchen. And we like the kitchen one better than Giovanni's table. We think Giovanni's kitchen is better than Giovanni's table. Okay, we got our table. I'm facing the window. Can't see much right now because it's it got dark out already. No. But here we go. Here's here's a uh, Hall of Fame entry number one. This is the garlic knot. So this is the official name of it. I didn't even know that was the official name. And then the Caesar salad, which is also a favorite. Um, and the margarita pizza. Um, those are the three things that are in our Hall of Fame. I'm surprised this one isn't considered a favorite. I guess they have to do Giovanni's pizza as a favorite. I guess so. Which we haven't had. We're gonna try the calamari, which we haven't had that before. So uh, there's a potential in the running for Hall of Fame. Yeah, they just put down some garlic nuts, which I had to be quick to take out the camera because last time we ate these so quickly, I couldn't even get out the camera. I mean, I'm already, I've already got mine on my plate, so. <laughs> And look at this. There's like pesto and marinara. And mix it all up. Wow. So I just scarfed down my garlic knot. Of course. It's being stripped from the Hall of Fame. It's not the same. They changed it. This is not the same. It used to be drenched in butter and like the garlic was, was all over it. There was no garlic to be found. It could be a fluke. I think we should ask them for another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to try it again. <laughs> no, and this is not our memory. This is not like our bad memory because we've had this, we've had the garlic nuts on this ship before. Yeah. And we've had them on Odyssey. Yeah. We've had them multiple times, multiple different ships. I think they changed the recipe. Either the recipe is different permanently or this is some sort of fluke. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's stripped. It's still really good. Yeah. And like potentially, let's say we go on Odyssey again, we have the garlic nuts again and they're delicious. They then we will add them back. It'll be unstripped of its title at that point. But as of now, Cut. It's this is the first thing that's been cut. <laughs> Day two of this Hall of Fame and yeah. already We haven't even made the website yet. <laughs> but it, it seriously is not us just like misremembering it. No. It is, it is totally different. It's totally different. We've had it multiple times. We know what it is now, supposed to be like. Here's the thing, I still want more, so it's not like they were bad. They were really good. <laughs> they were really good, but like before I was saying it was like the best one of the best things I've ever had in my entire life. So, now it's just, it's just a garlic knot. I could tell as soon as it came down. That Me it like, too. It looks different. I almost told the guy, like, yeah, yeah, this is the right thing. <laughs> For tonight's dinner time question, we have a question from Denise D. And they say, if you were told you had to work on a cruise ship, but you could pick any cruise ship you wanted and any position, what would you choose? This is a real job because I've seen it before and I almost applied to it. It is on board a cruise ship and it's like a graphic designer role. It's like the person who creates uh, like the cruise compass. I think it was for Princess Cruise Line, so it wouldn't exactly be the cruise compass. 
But like, there's a lot of things that need to be designed. And how do you know that it was on the ship? Because it said, it said in the job description, like, this wow. is a shipboard position. Wow. And like, it is for printing out all of the paper materials. And, That's like, cool. I would totally, totally want to do that. But here's the thing, I don't want to like leave Brian or my pets or anything. So I don't actually think I would do it. But part of this question was which ship? I don't necessarily care that much. Maybe an, an Oasis class ship so that there's a lot of room for me to, to spread out. Maybe one that's like going to Europe. I think that'd be fun. How about you? So I know in real life it doesn't really work this way. You can't really choose your ship. You um, They basically tell you where you're going. Yeah. We've heard um, some of the entertainment stuff. We we're talking about that before, how like there are assigned ships. Yeah, but that's not the question. This is okay, fantasy okay. world. Yeah, but for for the sake of the question, um, I've been thinking about this. I would choose a casino um, dealer. Can you do that math? I think I could do the math. I'm pretty good at math. All right. I um, I did I scored very highly in my math FCAT in school. <laughs> but you never took the SAT, so think... we can't. FCAT was like a thing in. Um, Florida public schools. Yeah. I don't even know if they still do that. I, I think, think every do. every public school, like there was like a DCAT or something. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I, I think I have the math skills to do it. Um, but here's the reason why being a dealer is the best job. One, it's kind of a cool, fun environment. Yeah. The other reason is the casino is closed every time you're in court. So you get a ton of time off. Yeah. And, and you like to stay up late. Your brain works yeah. well at night. Yeah. yeah, I do like to stay up late. Okay, I had to interrupt Brian because our Caesar salads arrived. Did you try a crouton? Is it just as good as you remember? Bon appetit. It's different. We've never had the croutons at Giovanni's before. We've You're always right. said that the croutons at Chops are amazing. Now we saw that these were house-made croutons, so I just assumed that they were the same. I don't think it's fair because we need to because we always said it was from Chops. So, so we can't we can't strip the title for no, this one. Because I think it's Chops specifically. Right. But these are not the same. But they're still really good. Yeah. So our intel must have been bad. Because this is not these are not the croutons that we had from Chops. So I guess the lesson learned is that Chops croutons are not the same as the Giovanni's kitchen. So not that we did chops here, so we don't know. Yeah. But go to chops if you want your good croutons. Yeah. Here we go. We just got our margarita pizza. Looks good. Looks good, yeah. Okay, and we got our calamari now, which looks really good. It does, my gosh. Here's the entrance to Giovanni's kitchen. So right outside is Windjammer. And we're gonna get our dessert at Windjammer. Yeah. Italian dessert is never that good. It's like cannoli and tiramisu. I don't love that. Yeah, I'd rather see what desserts they have at Windjammer. And it's, you know, we're right here, so. Oh, and it's Italian night. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's literally hilarious to me that we walk out of a specialty restaurant, grab their buffet plate, and they're like adding things. <laughs> it is really funny. <laughs> What'd you get? I blacked out, I don't even know. <laughs> it's like a blueberry something and royal cake and then this is like a chocolate tort whoa it's crazy this one looks good i didn't even see that wow what were you doing i've never seen this before they had churros and chocolate sauce Whoa. it looks very messy and i also got a piece of chocolate cake but it looks very messy but um that's how that's how a buffet is when you <laughs> it gets crazy you love but messy isn't it this is crazy. Yeah, I hope that they, you know, we have very high expectations for churros yeah. because of Disney, so. This is amazing. Yeah. Here's the thing. We've been on a lot of cruises now. We've noticed that the, the consistency of the quality of the food can change. Yeah. So like we've been on Freedom of the Seas before and we've done Giovanni's Kitchen. Right. And like we ordered the same items. And yeah. Like, even the quality there. It's there. different. So it's like, not even across ships anymore. It's, different sailings yeah. the same ship because we were like saying before like oh like this jamie's italian was better on this ship than that ship or whatever but now it's like wow this is the same ship yeah. so things can vary so if we ever say like oh my god the garlic knots were amazing and then you go on a cruise and try it and it's like oh it wasn't that great don't blame us it's not don't blame us <laughs> the moral of the story it's not our fault yeah <laughs> okay carrie has her blotters this can only mean one thing 
It's time for bingo. Time yes. for blood. Yes, she brought this from home. Of course. This is just like in your packing yeah. list. Yeah, people ask right. us, you know, what do you pack, what don't you pack, always pack your blotters. So this is in the Star Lounge. Have we been in the Star Lounge before? I'm really sure we have. Especially we have. not on this cruise. No. So the winner's pack is only $40. That seems a little bit cheaper than... I agree. Yeah. Maybe they heard our advice. All right, so this is our, our $40 winner's packs. We have, we've never seen this before. This is three scratch-off tickets. This which, is kind of nice. Which, these are $5 each. Like... But like, this is, it's not, it's by the, the casino. It's not like any like state lottery. It's like the onboard casino yeah, scratch-off ticket. Interesting. Yeah. They're only doing one bingo game. They gave us a- That's crazy, game. only one game. I know, and we paid $40 for one game. I don't think we, uh, it's kind of, we didn't know until we we bought it that it was only one game. Yeah, because I was like, oh my god, they they lowered it. They made it such a good deal. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, they didn't. But anyway, we got the iPad, which plays automatically, and then we have this card. He handed this one to us for free. I, I don't know if it's our diamond thing. thing. Yeah. I don't really know. And then obviously we didn't have to buy these because we just bring yeah. them. Other people had to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> Losers. Just kidding. We had to buy this one before, so. Yeah. But yeah, this one has 24 games on it. Sounds good. I think, oh, you can do more cards. So we can see, oh yeah, there. now we can see like a lot oh, more. Oh, and look, it even says 24 cards are four away. Wow, we're already four away. <laughs> <laughs> I want a scratchy. He said that, also he said the jackpot was um, $500. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna break this and then not be able to get back into our room. Does it work? Yeah. If only you had a guitar pick to scratch something off with. Yeah. It said using cues on it. So of course the one that I scratched off won $5. Um, but then I switched off to Brian to let him play. He's playing with my C-Pass card, and he looks break. like he's breaking it, so I don't know if this was a good idea. My card just snaps and breaks. <laughs> oh, is that a winner? Oh yeah, this is $10. $10. We won $15 so far? Wow. This could be good. So it, it lessens the price of the bingo. Yeah, not too shabby. Okay, well, we didn't win. We didn't even get close. Like, our closest card was three away. Womp, womp, womp. We never win. We never win, but... $15. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not too bad. I guess we got our morning gus and that's why we didn't get one tonight. That's not fair. <laughs> we need more than just one a day. Is it one gus in total? No, we got another one. We yeah. got the dog. Yeah, because we had one this morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At least we have Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah. We started in Miami, then we went to Coco Key, Nassau. And we're going back to Miami. We'll be at Miami tomorrow morning. January 1st, 2020. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all. Also, something I've never noticed before is, I guess because we have so many Spanish speakers on board this cruise, it's alternating between Spanish and English for all these things. Wow. Actually, it says speed and English, but then knots is in noodles. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> and then course is still English, but that's apparent wind. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. We've never noticed that before. No, I've never seen that before. But there are a lot of Spanish speakers on this cruise, so yeah. I can see why they would have to, to change that up. What's crazy is our next cruise is actually in two weeks on Freedom Sister Ship, Liberty of the Seas, and that cruise is gonna be really cool. We're doing something really, really cool. And uh, I guess we'll see you there. Yeah, I'm so excited for this cruise. I don't think I realized that it was only two weeks away. I know. So. Yeah. I'm excited to share with you our exciting yeah. thing in, in that's two happening. Weeks, it, we booked this cruise so long ago, it was before we've ever cruised together. It, yeah, it was like during the shutdown of cruising. Yeah. So literally we had never cruised together, yeah. but we were like, yes, in t January, 2023, we will be taking this cruise. Yeah. And you know, I thought it was nice of Brian to, you know, take that bet on me and our relationship. And that's how I know that, you know, he's really committed. He's all in. It was so funny when we first booked it, it was like, okay, this cruise is in two and a half years. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> but the day is finally almost here. It's crazy. Okay, it's time to scratch off Freedom. Wait a second. Oh my God, Freedom's already scratched Wait, off. Wait, so why are we here? Why are we Oh, here? it's because <laughs> we reached Diamond Plus on this cruise. So now that this cruise is finished, we are now 
diamond plus with finishing this cruise. Next cruise, yeah. you get like you know the the perks of being diamond. Yes. Yeah, so now we're at one eighty points. So you don't get your diamond plus. Oh. Ben, if on the cruise where you reach it, you will get it on the next cruise. So. So what does that mean? What does it entitle? Like, what kind of like do we get one more drink per day? We do. That's one? basically the main thing is we get one more drink per day. And I guess like there's potentially better discounts on. I don't know, but I think there's point. also internet. You get a better internet deal oh. too. That's basically the main difference is a better internet deal, and um, it scared the cat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Peter. Um, but yeah, better to oh internet. <laughs> The blowing is freaking out. It's, the animals do not like it. Let's do it again. So now the only next tier we have is Pinnacle, and that's at 700 points. So we're going from 175 to 700. That might take a while, but I'm pretty sure we will reach it in our lifetime. What so, are we going to do next? Well, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, we're so close to finishing Freedom Class. We I feel like... probably just wrap that one up. Yeah, let's just let's finish, just let's just finish off Freedom Class. Let's go on the water slide on Liberty. Okay, let's go. Okay. Coming up in our next video. We board Liberty of the Seas, where we stay in a room that's okay, I guess.